What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to seam vinyl. So two pieces of vinyl, perfect seam, not overlapped, but a seam without having it shrink on it. Okay, so we're gonna take our knifeless tape. And we're gonna lay a line down. Say we have to have a super precise straight line. Just kind of pull your knifeless, tack it down, let it lay down flat. Push it down once you're happy with the line. Then we've got our two pieces of film. So we're gonna just pretty much line those guys up like that and put them on. Or, and put them on. So, take a piece of film. We're gonna heat this up a little bit to pre shrink it. Let it cool down for a second. Didn't push down all the way I want. Finish this panel. Let's say it was a full panel. Just finish that half of the panel. That's done. And we're gonna do the same thing with our other piece. And you only need to pre-shrink section that's actually where your seat is. Take our knifeless, hold it down, cut it or break it. I'm gonna put my finger over the edge of the film just to get it started. Pull it all the way out. You wanna take that piece there, take that out. that you can take your leftover knifeless out. After you do that piece I like to back down to that. Take that side out. Then you need to carefully Back piece out. Now you could go and take this with a little bit of heat to pre or shrink back what you just did. And then you can hit it with heat again. Nothing's happening. It's not lifting up. It's still a perfect seam. It is there, but not very noticeable at all. So that is how you can do a seam like that. And you saw after I hit it with a crazy amount of heat, which I did very close up, um, didn't lift up. You do want to hit it with a little bit of heat afterwards. So you, you know, post heat it. You can also push it back down if you had some spots that weren't quite perfect. Like right now you can, there's nothing there. <laughs> it's perfect. I hope that video was helpful for you guys. If it was, please give it a thumbs up. 
Hopefully you guys learned something because I just learned this not that long ago and have been practicing it to make sure I get it good. And I'll keep practicing it to make sure I do it better. Um, that's what you need to do when you learn new techniques and tricks with vinyl. Practice, practice, practice. So that's all I've got for you guys for today. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button down below. See you guys in the next one.